Since their introduction in 2009, the PreSonus Studio Live series of mixers have delivered high quality audio in an intuitive, easy to use and compact form factor. If you're a PreSonus Studio Live Series 3 console owner, then you know that PreSonus are constantly listening to their user base and regularly offer firmware updates that bring new functionality and improvements to the Studio Live Series 3 models. And the latest iteration of these consoles, which is the Studio Live Special Edition, or SE for short, represents the culmination of the last seven years of product development. There are three models in the Series 3 SE range, the SE16, SE24, and the SE32, with each model name corresponding to the number of channel faders and onboard XMAX remote preamps. All three of the SE models feature A to D and D to A converters with 115 decibels of dynamic range, which is a pretty impressive spec, especially for consoles in this price range, and they each are 40 channel consoles under the hood with 25 buses. So what that means is that each model is equally as powerful from a processing standpoint. They all feature the same dual core flex processing engine and all of the same routing capabilities. So technically, they could all mix the same show. It's really just about the number of faders and the built-in physical ins and outs. So in that sense, you can choose which console is right for you based on your requirements. The SE16 is rack mountable, which makes it perfect for small venues and touring bands, while the SE24 and SE32 can more easily accommodate larger channel counts which suits them to a recording studio situation or as a front of house console for a house of worship or larger live events. And these two offer a split fader workflow for quick bus mixing, which can be a huge asset in those scenarios. The Studio Live Series 3 SE consoles now feature a frameless touchscreen. The screen mounting has been raised from the position of the previous models, and both of these improvements help with performance and viewability. The UI has been updated for improved contrast, which particularly helps the touch points, and the new cylindrical encoder caps make parameter adjustments very smooth. There's also a new fader cap design that's been rounded a little more for a comfortable feel, and they also feature a Luminex strip to help visibility in dark environments. All three of these consoles have a 64x64 bi-directional USB audio interface, so whether you're looking to record individual channels, do a virtual sound check, stream a live show or a worship service, or run tracks from a computer, you can easily accomplish this. Additionally, with Studio Live, it's possible to route analog, network, USB, and SD card sources to the same channel at the same time, and then instantly switch between them at the touch of a button. In terms of recording options, the console can record to SD card via the built-in 34x34 multi-track SD recorder, and there's extremely tight integration with the included PreSonus Capture software. Capture is designed to work exclusively with Studio Live mixers and provides a no-fuss way of recording your show, and it also makes doing a virtual sound check very straightforward. Capture sessions are fully compatible with PreSonus Studio One software, of which a license for Studio One Pro is included, so you can get raw tracks quickly in Capture and then bring them into Studio One Pro for additional production capabilities. Also, when you use a Studio Live console with Studio One, the console can be used as a control surface for the software, and you can control the console's FAT channel and preamp settings from inside Studio One. All Studio Live consoles feature 16 flex mixes, which allow you to configure each of these mixes as either an aux mix, a subgroup, or as a matrix mix. Matrix mixes are very flexible here because they not only include every bus master, but they also include every input channel as well. There are also four dedicated effects mixes, four dedicated subgroups, and 24 DCAs, so you can really go to town with processing and managing shows with large channel counts. And if you're using aux mixes for creating monitor mixes and the console is connected to a wireless router, you can have each band member download PreSonus's QMix UC software on their phone and give them control over their own mix. The Studio Live Series 3 SE mixers now include the fat channel collection of plugins as standard. So that means seven additional state space EQ models for a total of 10 EQ flavors and eight additional compressor models for a total of 11 options. These are available on every channel and bus. 
Additionally, the Studio Live limiter has been improved with a new variable release, and the Digital XL Reverb has also been improved to feature an extended parameter set that now includes several new controls, as well as a new UI and new factory presets. Universal control software gives full control over the console, as well as configuration and management. In addition to putting every function under your fingers on a tablet, laptop, or a mobile device, there's also an offline editor that can be used to configure AVB networking and channel routing, as well as manage scenes, projects, and presets. The UC software also allows for creating user profiles with permissions, which locks the console down to only the features that you determine that that particular operator needs. One of the most unique and powerful features of Universal Control is Metro Remote Access, which allows for a remote user to connect to a console from anywhere in the world and do a real-time mix while monitoring audio from their local sound device over the internet. In addition to being helpful for remotely troubleshooting a setup, this feature is really useful for live event streaming, where a separate operator can log into the console and do a broadcast mix from a remote location, even off-site, like a studio control room where it's acoustically treated and they can use monitors. With the release of the Studio Live Series 3 SE consoles, PreSonus is also releasing a firmware update that will bring all of the new software-based features that I've just mentioned, including the plugins and updated UI, to any Studio Live Series 3 console. Now, this is incredible news for current Studio Live Series 3 owners. And this firmware update is also bringing third-party certified and validated Milan compatibility to PreSonus's AVB implementation. And that's including the NSB stage boxes, EarMix personal monitor mixes, and the AVB D16 Dante Bridge. Now, if you're not familiar with AVB, it stands for Audio Video Bridging, and it's an IEEE standard that can be used for audio networking via a switched Ethernet network. In addition to providing improved clocking and stability, Milan certification ensures interoperability between PreSonus AVB products and other Milan certified devices and Avenue certified switches, regardless of manufacturer. The feature set in Studio Live Series 3 SE consoles represents some incredible value. Some of the feature offerings, like the Metro Remote Access capabilities, are unique to the PreSonus ecosystem, while other features such as the dynamic range in the A to D and D to A conversion simply isn't found in a console at anywhere near this price point. But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, this has been Andrew from the BH Pro Audio YouTube channel reminding you to always remember audio.